Afternoon everybody and welcome to another new Meccano set video. Um, this one being just about the newest there is at the moment along with a couple of others. This as you can see is the Tower Bridge Meccano Special Edition set. Brand new although the box date does state May 2014. It's a made in China set uh, which is a bit of a surprise because that's the first one made in China of new or newish sets that I've seen for just a shade over a year. Um, all the previous new introductions uh, last year of the multi models, uh, the 3 model, 10 model, um, even the new 15, 20, 24 model, they've all been made in France. This one's a French one and uh, it's not available everywhere Thanks to Richard on New Zealand Meccano Forum posting a link, um, I was able to have a bit of a nosy round and I found several new sets available. Of course they'll start to filter through now uh, over the next few weeks, um, certainly in the UK anyway. Uh, so what have we got? Well, Tower Bridge. <laughs> um, the approximate length of the bases is about 20 inches, uh, 20, 22 inches actually. The uh, flange plates being five and a half inch long. Of course, the actual structure of the model will be about uh, uh, two inches shorter each end. So about um, uh, let's say yeah, about eighteen inch long roughly. Um, as is the norm, or what will be the norm, and is certainly starting to appear. Uh, once things get going properly, and this will be autumn. Uh, you'll find that there's no separate line of evolution sets. You will find that all parts are to be incorporated together. So they just become other Meccano parts, which of course they are anyway, I suppose. And we all know how I feel about the <laughs> former evolution parts. Um, just as a pointer, I have a mind to replace these parts with uh, short uh, two hole, one inch um, narrow strips uh, and and that'd probably be a little bit more realistic actually but uh, we'll see. Uh, looking at the box uh, it looks like it will pivot the bridge so hope so um, and it's a bargain price really uh, these are first out and I only found the one place so far although I haven't looked that hard certainly nowhere on the high street I should think I'll have these yet um, because the three model sets only available in about one place at the moment uh, but it's 39.95 call it 40 quid and you get 742 parts um, which isn't bad at all uh, I do know that there's about 290 standard bolts which at dealer prices in the UK you're looking at about 17 quid just over 17 quid for so that and the nuts are going to be most of the price of the set of course that's if you bought it separate and of course that's always more expensive so let's waffle let's have a look inside so there we go folks the usual bags uh, holding the parts inside a cardboard box uh, not a bad uh, strength box at all it's quite tough not as tough as the older uh, multi-model stuff I suppose and I do miss the like perforated uh, strip on the older multi-model sets I found it a bit of a challenge to try and get it off in one which was usually thwarted by the being glue in the wrong place but uh, the box is certainly strong enough so as we can see we've got uh, the usual parts in bags several bags instruction book um, obviously that's a bit cluttered uh, I hope I've got enough room I have extended shall we say the stage to try and accommodate all the parts but we'll have a look see what's in the set so here we are with the front cover of the instruction book and um, there's one thing that stands out straight away that's better than the three model multi-model set and that's the inclusion of a small picture to show how you screw a bolt into a nut and vice versa and that's that there simple as that that's all it needs now my I should say gripe about something like that being missing with a three multi-model set is purely because from a starter's point of view really somebody who's never even 
known about Meccano and there's plenty of people about like that let alone bought and played with some uh, it has to be understood these days that there are what 30 and 40 year old parents who have probably never even heard of Meccano or even bought any uh, and obviously younger than that there's a, probably a far greater amount of parents that have never heard of it so it's fair to say that that sort of thing should be included in the smaller sets in this case this is probably not going to be uh, for a starter uh, the beginner is probably well might get this set if somebody like myself actually bought it for somebody but actually really wanted it themselves I suppose uh, uh, so brilliant we do need that it's vital really here we have more of the same uh, basic instructions on how to put things together um, the use of the allen key and the use of the spanner uh, basic uses of the spanner and how to use it for different ends different situations over here uh, what is probably quite common on the older sets um, how to secure different parts together uh, there's just one thing there looking at that um, that one there shows it the parts being able to move together but doesn't show a nylock nut or indeed the old-fashioned lock nut not that there's anything wrong with that uh, however a bit of a scan of the part shows there's no nylock nuts included in the set so I'm already thinking is that going to be an issue there's only the the drawbridge part of the bridge to worry about there and from the box instructions it uses rubber grommets on an axle so that shouldn't be an issue uh, right here's the other thing that was missing from the new three multi-model set and uh, a vital issue and, and my biggest oh, I suppose drives a bit strong but my biggest moan uh, a lack of a full parts content list and of course as you can see this one has one in full and it's nice and clear um, parts wise let's have a look a uh, quick look round what have we got out the ordinary uh, looks like we've got round axles again looking at that there's two two inch round axles according to that there um, several strips uh, narrow and uh, standard and flexible um, the fairly new now, as mentioned by Ralph Lawton uh, some time back on his blog, um, the, uh, oh, I don't know what we call that, angled corner bracket, I suppose that'll do. Um, of course the reintroduction or re-inclusion of the Part 52 uh, flange plate, uh, now known as a A, that's Alpha 852 now. Um, plenty of other parts have been around for years. Um, Ah, that's interesting. I don't know. I haven't seen these before. And to be honest, there's two parts. So one I have seen fairly recently, and and this one, we've got an obtuse narrow angle bracket there, and this one, which I have seen fairly recently, and I do want a few of those, uh, which is the narrow uh, angle bracket. Plenty of parts with quarter inch hole spacing, which uh, I'm not going to mention what sets they used to come from. <laughs> Uh, anymore, or I'll try not to. Um, new spanner, of course, new Allen key, as I say before, no nylock nuts, and the rest is pretty much um, standard parts these days, or common parts, probably a better way of putting it. We have quite a few uh, parts if you want some odd little parts. Like we've got 12 4 hole 2 inch uh, narrow strips, uh, there's 8 3 hole, and the uh, uh, I can't remember, is that a one inch or a half inch strip with the three holes close together? Uh, that's handy. And those, I'll need plenty of those for the future. These I haven't seen uh, much of, which is sort of like a an obtuse uh, double bent narrow strip, I suppose. Um, it's a shame they don't have a list of names, but I think there is things available on the internet for that sort of thing. Well, here we are then with just a random uh, page out of the instruction book. Um, what is already evident, of course, is the what I think some of us were told. Um, there's more um, order to the layout now. Before, uh, uh, as, well, as you can see, you've got four, five, six, seven, and that's good. 
and I'm just looking across at the other page and you've got one, two and three and so it follows one in the corner, the next one follows there, the next one follows down here, the next one follows there. Unlike some, not all of the uh, older instruction books where it was sort of like the number to a certain extent didn't go in any order, it went where it fitted on the page sort of thing uh, and I've been um, uh, certainly the Red Arrow sets I've missed um, a stage out where uh, you think it would go like four, five, six, seven, and I've gone to like four, five, and then I look down here and I've carried on with it, and I realise that that's probably eight and nine and six and seven are somewhere up the other side of the page. Uh, so that's, I mean, excellent. Um, I'm still not totally convinced, or rather, I don't get some of the blue arrows. Uh, it was explained to me. Um, I'm trying to remember really how to explain it to you. Um, it's essentially, and I'll, I'll try and confirm the format, uh, it doesn't really jump out at me. It, it did when it was uh, explained, but it's uh, to show like the other side of the model instead of having another separate diagram to do pretty much the same thing. Uh, I think that's the way it was put to me. Uh, I'll confirm that in a later video anyway. Um, some of them are quite uh, self-explanatory, but very clear, no problems here. Of course, there's no um, black on dark grey in this model, uh, so um, we'll have to wait for the, a few more new sets to come through for the larger diagrams to inspect that, but the white line, the white outline to the darker parts does help a lot. Just continuing to look through the book, I should have mentioned this on the contents page but um, I can't recall any myself in my couple of years back in it but uh, here we have a small triangular plate that's flexible so here we are with all the contents in their bags uh, I won't begin them out today uh, purely because this model probably ain't going to be built for a while and I don't want um, all the parts rattling around loose in the box which is an oft said um, comment on the box is that once you've opened the sets, built the model, taken it apart then the boxes aren't very good at containing the remaining parts um, certainly the boxes where you've got the cardboard inserts as well of course for people who've been at it a while we've normally got boxes to put stuff in anyway and uh, cabinets and old cardboard boxes or whatever uh, just that was just from the newbie point of view that you know, they made a model, they took it apart, put it in the box and sometime later feel like they want to play again. Um, they go to make a model and find they've lost half the parts. Perhaps, perhaps that's a line from a Meccano to make uh, some nice cases or whatever. Meccano branded perhaps. Um, of course, uh, be a lot cheaper than wooden cabinets used to be. Uh, bound to be plastic these days. So, yeah. The usual plastic bags, none of the bags are really too oversized, which has been a bit of a complaint from me. A uh, couple of things I do like. Um, one, some of the bags at least are look like they're easier to open. The nuts and you can't see very well, but the bolts. Uh, nice thing about the bags from finding stuff point of view, or not, not quite relevant with this set, is that the... First of all, the bolts are quite weighty, of course, and they've been double bagged, which shows a bit of care and attention there. Uh, any writing on the bag concerning safety, you know, warning plastic bag, is on the outer bag in this case. Um, I don't know if there's anything underneath, it doesn't look like it. Um, but of course, I would like to see this sort of thing with the sets, smaller sets, if you like, where all the small parts, like nuts and bolts, small brackets, angle brackets, spacers and washers, that sort of thing are all in the same bag and you've got to hunt through them it's very difficult on some because there's that much writing on, it's almost a black bag and it's, it's half like it's in a, a black bag instead of a, a see-through bag um, which makes it difficult, of course that's not a problem with this set because they're, they're all, the, all the parts are separate like that, the nuts are separate from the uh, the um, bolts so uh, we've got uh, Smalls there, we've got some small smalls in there with washers and lung bolts, spacers. 
strips, girder plates, trunnions, uh, a few angle brackets, more strips and girder plates, some longer narrow strips in there, more angular parts in there and uh, longer standard strips, flexibles there and your tools. Now, um, I was told something about the spanner which I hadn't noticed. Uh, the new spanner as is in there. Now, I called that a box end. I forget what term, uh, a box spanner, but I forget what term the actual correct term is. Um, but I was going on an old instruction book which had one. But as correctly pointed out, the box spanner version was longer. However, uh, what was also pointed out, and I must admit um, I didn't really need to use that end for the three multi-model set, but whereas the old spanner, I'll still call it a box spanner for now, uh, that end you used to get the nut and then put it in and slide it into grip and sometimes it wouldn't grip because perhaps the, the nut tolerance was a bit lanky or indeed perhaps the spanner was. Well this one it's designed, if you look there's a bit of a ridge either side, it's designed so the nut actually clips in anywhere in there. So you, you could actually only put a little bit of it and it clip in and it will stay in. Um, the reason why the uh, the other end doesn't fit the nylock nuts, or rather it didn't in that set, uh, was because the tolerances at the open end are very tight, uh, a lot more accurate in other words than what we're used to and the nylock nuts are just ever so slightly larger than a standard nut uh, thus the issues with um, getting the nylock nuts to fit into the open end of the spanner um, one of the things with that spanner uh, that I've found um, initially uh, as I said before I found it a bit cumbersome and the handle, the main part of the, the handle of the spanner being too far away from the uh, open end of it. Um, at the Tim's meeting just a few days ago um, the the tools seem to grab the attention more than the model or the set, the uh, three model multi-model set um, but the more you inquire with people and talk to people and see what they think and obviously I'll pick the tools up and play with it. There's one thing that may be adding to my, shall we say poor feel of the tool and that's that it's shiny and it's slippy quite slippy so maybe in use that will dull down a bit and uh, we'll get a better feel for it if you like um, what I will be doing uh, unless it's just a one or two off issue I will be just shaving off the uh, or sanding off really with a bit of sandpaper or a file the actual coating at the um, open end so hopefully it will then fit the nylock nuts better. Um, going back to the parts as a whole uh, they all look at first glance a good finish, a very good finish mirror finish almost. Um, there's no sign of any passiness initially although this is obviously only a quick look in the bags everything looks a good even finish nicely uh, nicely finished off no signs of any staining of course we'll wait to see on the build whether it actually stains like the Big Ben set I've been doing which is stained just from the sweat of my hands and it won't even clean off with furniture polish so that's a brasso job of course I haven't finished that yet anyway uh, but yeah uh, a quick look shows the stampings are fine crisp stampings it's still got the N in brackets on the end um, whether these are stock parts or freshly made parts, who knows? Of course, I suppose that will change one day. Um, so, yeah, uh, plenty of parts. There's no doubt about that. Some good points. Uh, still don't like the fact that the, a lot of parts are all together, but I suppose the zinc is quite hard wearing, whereas paint is probably more liable to damage. Uh, but yeah, um, looks, uh, well, certainly parts wise, it's a great set, I think. Uh, 40 quid, and of course, it'll get less than that usually. They tend to come down a bit, and there's offers on here, offers on there. Um, discount vouchers in the local rag for the local toy shop, and what have you. So, 40 quid, or shade under, um, 
and that was free post so even better so overall so far good value set looks good finish some things look like they've changed for the better uh, I can't see anything bad at the moment but of course time will tell on the build a quick look through the instruction book and I've got a couple of thoughts about the build but of course it's best to find out uh, as we go with the build uh, at a later date